when you pray in the name of Jesus somehow or another, it gives you more, more clout. It gives you more faith because Jesus said it. That settles it. Dear Father. Number two, when you pray, forgive. Have a forgiving spirit. Didn't Jesus say those words when he was talking about the disciples? This is how you pray. At the very last, or in the midst of it, he said, forgive us our debts as though as we forgive our debtors. And then he says, for thine is the kingdom and power and the glory forever and ever and ever. And then he says, amen. Then he goes back to talking. Now, disciples, the reason I said that is because there's a lot of unforgiveness in a lot of hearts. And then he he emphasizes the, the talking about if you don't forgive, neither will your father forgive you. You've got to have a forgiving spirit about you. He says in Mark 11, verse 25, and when you stand praying, forgive. If you have aught against any, that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you of your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive you of your trespasses. Before we can ever expect to have uh, answers to our prayers, we've got to have a forgiving spirit towards those who have wronged us. Can't hold a grudge. You can't keep a, an unforgiving spirit. You, you, you can't wish wrong on somebody. You've just got to, you've got to forgive. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I then, and what is, what is iniquity? Iniquity is, is, is sin, wickedness. And <clears throat> I believe uh, uh, one height of wickedness is unforgiving, an unforgiving spirit. Uh, <clears throat> a little girl <clears throat> uh, came into the room where her daddy was feverishly for two hours putting together a computer. Anybody ever bought a computer and put it together? Wire this to here, purple goes here, blue goes here, and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And he did everything, everything, everything. And he flipped the switch to, oh boy, and nothing happened. Flipped it off, flipped it back on, and nothing happened. Get the directions, read the directions, go back through all the wiring. He is sitting there fuming, stinking computer is no good. A little five-year-old comes in and says, Dad, you've got a computer. Can I plug it in and play? He forgot to plug it in. That's what sin does and unforgiveness. It keeps us unplugged. Boy, you want to get plugged in and talk to God? Then have a forgiving spirit. Uh, how, how do we forgive? How do we have that forgiving spirit? Uh, pray for your accuser. Pray for the one that you're having some problems with. Remember, I said pray for, not against. Them. Bless them. Bless them that despitefully use you. Bless them that curse you, that do wrong unto you. Bless them. Bless them. Now bless them out. Bless them. Do good unto them. That's hard to do. Whew, it is hard to do. I mean, you just get offended one day. Right now, you might not be offended. You might be just fine. But you let an offense come. And you find just how hard that thing is. It, you, you want to give the person a piece of your mind. You want to set them straight. Uh, you, and, and to forgive them? God, one of these days, maybe. Well, then maybe that time, maybe God will hear your prayer. Because until then, you're not forgiven and neither are your prayers heard. Forgiving. So you pray for, your, for them. Uh, ask God to bless them. Before God, forgive them. And if given an opportunity, right before their face, ask them to forgive you. But what if they were all wrong? And most of the time, in, that, in my case, they're always the one that's wrong. I'm, I'm always the one that's pure and holy and right. 
honestly, though, if I if I think if somebody has got something against me, and 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 I've I've done this many times with with uh, people that maybe all of a sudden are quiet to me, and, and I'm kind of wondering why. I will go up to them and say, you know something, I have prayed, and I have, Lord, and the Lord hasn't really shown me anything, but if if there is anything that I have done, please forgive me. Please forgive me. And I want to get it right. So I want to get forgiveness for myself. And if I feel like somebody has offended me and I hold a grudge, and I did this one time to one guy, <clears throat> I, I was very angry with him. Uh, and I, I held it. And, and I'm trying to do revival meetings and travel all across the country, praying to God, worshiping God, and can't get anywhere because this guy kept on coming to my mind. And I finally, I said, Lord, I'll get it right. So I didn't do anything wrong to this guy. Not one thing wrong. I was doing good unto him and he slammed and slapped the door right in my face. And it angered me. Well, I went up to him. He had forgotten it. But buddy, I didn't. And I said, you know something? I want to ask you to forgive me. For what? I said, I've just, I've just held something against you that you don't even know you did. You didn't even mean it. I'm giving them complete out. I said, and it's not important to bring it up, but I want to just tell you, I've had a sorry attitude, and I want to ask you to forgive me. Would you please forgive me? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I, please forgive me. Finally, he says, well, yeah, I do. I said, thank you. I, I, and, and, then, and then we conversed, and the fellowship was just as sweet and has been to this day ever since. He's blessed my family. I've been able to bless his. But that way, he didn't even know. Sometimes offenders don't even know they've done anything wrong to you. And so what do you do? You don't go up and buttonhole them and say, Hey, you did this. Now, I'm forgiving you, but you're a rotten scoundrel because you did it. I'm going to forgive you anyway. You've gotten vengeance there. You have, you have expressed your case and got it out of your crawl. And then top it off with a dessert of forgiveness. That doesn't work that way. All you've done is put guilt and, 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 a, and a sorry feeling upon them. What do you do? You go and exercise the fact that, hey, you're innocent, but I'm not. God has convicted me, and, and I've just held something against you. I've been wrong in my attitude towards you. And I want you to forgive me. When you exercise that and you take all the blame, then you release them and you also release yourself and get plugged in to God. I'll tell you, after I did that, I had the sweetest time in the Lord. It's been sweet, sweet, sweet ever since. There's no more guilt. There's no more wedges. There's no more walls, no more barriers, no more closed doors. Free access to the Father any and all the time because of that. Was it worth carrying something in my heart against somebody who didn't even know that they had done something wrong? It wasn't worth Who was I hurting? That's what happens when we hold unforgiveness. So forgive when you're praying. 